So in today's video, I have another anniversary review for you. Um, a really great album by the band uh, Black Sabbath called uh, Mob Rules. This is celebrating its uh, 40th anniversary. Uh, it's their 10th album and the second one uh, album uh, with uh, Ronnie James Dio as vocalist. And this was released like right after uh, Heaven and Hell, which was like the first uh, you know, Black Sabbath album with uh, Ronnie James Dio. So Mob Rules is the only studio album with uh, drummer Vinny Apis. And uh, he didn't come back until uh, the 1992 album Dehumanizer. So this album was produced by Martin Birch. Now the album uh, received an expanded edition released in uh, 2010. And uh, I'm not really sure if they're doing another release this year. I haven't heard anything about it. So if anyone knows anything, uh, you know, let us know in the comments section. So uh, this is a really uh, great album. So they kind of like had like lots of difficulties when they were going through the recording process. Um, so in uh, 1992, uh, Tony Iommi was uh, interviewed by Guitar World magazine. And uh, he said, uh, Mob Rules was a confusing album for us. We started writing songs differently for some reason and ended up not using a lot of really great material. That lineup was really great and the whole thing fell apart for very silly reasons. Uh, we were acting like children. So again, this is a really great album. I'm gonna go through the songs. We have uh, eight songs, actually I'm wrong, nine songs. And then I'll uh, give you my final thoughts at the end and then that's it. So the first song starts off with a banger, Turn Up The Night. Has a really great uh, chugging riff and um, the riff is almost like pre-thrash. Remember this came out in 1981 before the whole like thrash metal scene. Um, Ronnie James Deal's voice is super powerful on this one. It still retains that classic 80s metal sound, has a really catchy chorus. I really like the bass sound in this one and it really comes to the forefront. Next song is called Voodoo. It's a little slower and uh, they use a really different like type of a guitar tone. It's almost like that like Eddie Van Halen a guitar tone from the first Van Halen album it has that really cool, I don't know what the name of the effect is, but it has a really cool uh, sound. The song has some pretty cool heavy chugging riffs throughout and really cool melodic solo. The third song is uh, definitely my favorite song from the album, Sign of the Southern Cross. And it has like a slow intro, but it just slowly builds. It has quiet acoustic guitars in the beginning. Ronnie James Day opens with some quiet vocals. Kind of creates this really at nice atmosphere, kind of builds up. Now, a little over uh, one minute, the riff comes in. It's just this awesome, just like, doomy, like Black Sabbath-y riff. The verse is a little quieter, but you know, the sound of the bass guitar kind of creates this critical atmosphere. And uh, the heavy guitars keep coming back to the forefront. And it's a song, it's heavy, it's doomy, it's melodic. Really great song to listen to uh, with headphones. You know, you hear a lot of uh, different like sounds in the background. You know, I really like the four minute mark and um, really great sounds and um, in an interview uh, for the concert film for Neo Knights, uh, 30 Years of Heaven and Hell, uh, Geezer Butler uh, said that uh, the sign of the Southern Cross was his favorite uh, Mob Rules track because it gave him a chance to uh, experiment with some bass effects and that's really something that's really cool, it really stands out with that song. And it's a long song, eight minutes long, very epic song. This is followed by a song that's kind of filler, it's called the E5150. It's a, instrumental, it's kind of strange. I guess if you listen to it with headphones, you probably appreciate it a little more, but it has some sci-fi sound effects, kind of out of place, but it's the kind of, kind of track you might skip, but this actually appeared in the animated sci-fi film, uh, Heavy Metal, but uh, never really appeared on the, on the, it didn't appear on the Heavy Metal soundtrack. Next song is a banger, it's the title track called uh, The Mob Rules, it's a heavy driving song has a classic 80s metal feel to it. Uh, Ronnie James Dio shows off his powerful voice in this one. I really like the bass sound in this and the, in the mix and the solo. It's a shredder. Song's a little over three minutes and it's a really good song. Another great song is a uh, track number six, Country Girl. This one has a throwback sound, uh, similar to those like early Black Sabbath albums. One of those songs you can imagine Ozzy Osbourne singing. It would fit on perfectly like an album like Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Good to hear Ronnie uh, sing a classic like Sabbath sounding song. This goes into uh, a quieter break at the near two minute mark, some really cool harmonies and a short uh, guitar solo. Next song is pretty cool, a little different called Slipping Away. It has a very like a Led Zeppelin sound to it. It's 
It's more of like a hard rocker. It has like a little more of that like commercial edge to it. It's very melodic. And uh, the best part of the song is the dueling guitar and the bass solo. Really good song. And, uh, you know, the other ones uh, I like a lot better, but it's a pretty cool, you know, showing off their like classic rock uh, style. Track number eight is Falling Off the Edge of the World. And uh, the song starts with a slow and quiet intro. Picks up a little at the near one minute mark. Has some pretty cool bass tones. And it goes into a really cool like funeral doom riff and this is like something that's way ahead of its time you know after two minutes it kind of kicks off with a classic ozzy era like black sabbath riff then it continues with some up-tempo rhythms and a really classic guitar solo the final track is called over and over it's another uh, slow and doomy song and this one is also ahead of its time I mean, you know reminds me a little of those bands from that like death doom genre but, you know, think of that guitar tone and that guitar, those guitar riffs and that, you know, tempo, but with the melodic vocals of Ronnie James Dio. And that's like this song. It's an underrated song called Over and Over. It's an album closer. You know, not the best song on the album. The other ones are, are better, but it's not filler. You know, it's a really uh, good song and it is very uh, unique and groundbreaking at, for that time, 1981. So my final thoughts are, uh, it's an album uh, released not too long after Heaven and Hell. And they often get compared, um, you know, people talk about uh, album pairs and, you know, you, I think Heaven and Hell goes right along with uh, Mob Rules. They're both like really great albums. Uh, Heaven and Hell might be a little more consistent. I think Mob Rules has some of the better songs like Country Girl and Sign of the Southern Cross. Um, Mob Roll Rules does get uh, weighed down a little bit with that instrumental E5150, but not a long song, something that you can easily skip or, but it does go well into that heavier song, you know, the Mob Rules, the title track. So that is it. Let me know in the comments what you uh, thought of this album. And uh, coming up uh, next uh, next weekend, I have, uh, or the coming weekend, tomorrow's Friday, the new album by ABBA, I will be doing that. And a new album by uh, Bullet For My Valentine. I think that might be the only, uh, New releases, now that the new releases are kind of like, you know, dying down a little bit. But I do plan some uh, other uh, pretty cool albums with some more anniversaries coming up, like uh, Led Zeppelin IV, that will be coming up pretty soon. Kiss Rock and Rolled Over, and a couple more. So that's it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.